Hello everyone. Today we will be learning how to create plots in PTC MathCAD Prime. Plots are a great way to visualize data and MathCAD offers many kinds of plots and plotting capabilities. This video will cover some basic plots including Cartesian point plots, polar plots, contour maps, and three-dimensional plots. First, let's create a vector of 50 random values. This vector y will be our force vector by defining the vector to contain values in newtons. The x vector will contain distance values as defined in millimeters. MathCAD can plot with or without units and can even make conversions to other units in the plot window. We can create an x and y plot then connect our y axis to the newton vector and the x axis to the distance vector. With these vectors added to the plot, the values are displayed. We can adjust the display of the values in the graph by changing line properties, by adding a symbol and increasing the thickness. We can also convert this plot into other kinds of plots, like a column trace, bar trace, stem trace, etc. There are a few other plot types available, but those require special conditions to be activated. MathCAD Prime also has the option to change the plot background from the sheet color to transparent or white. Next, we will create a polar plot of real versus imaginary numbers of an exponential function. We will define x2 as a vector from negative 1 to 1. The function y2 of x will be a complex exponential function. From here, we can see when plugging our x2 vector into y2, we get an array of complex numbers. We will create a polar plot and reference the real part of y2x2 as the radial component. And the imaginary part of y2x2 as the angular component. Here we will change the color of the plot and add a symbol so that each point is more visible. MathCAD plots can also contain multiple traces. To show this, we will be creating two plots, one using a sine cardinal function, or sync, and the other using the hyperbolic sine function, or cinch. We will plot four different traces for the sync plot with amplitudes 100, 75, 50, and 25, as well as frequencies of 1, 1.5, 2, and 2.5 respectively. We will then go through and change the colors, line thicknesses, and line styles so that each trace is easily seen and can be compared to the others. For the cinch plot, we will plot another four traces with amplitudes 1 over 100, 1 over 75, 1 over 50, 1 over 25. We will go through and change each trace's color to improve invisibility. Now that we are familiar with the profile of sync and cinch, we will be creating contour plots of a sync and cinch function with independent variables x and y. We define z1 of x and y as 100 times the sync of 0.75x plus the sync of 0.75y. z2 will be defined as 0.01 times the cinch of x minus the cinch of y. We will insert a contour plot for the functions z1 and z2, making sure to reference them. 
As you can see, the contour plot gives a view normal to the x and y plane and provides color reference based on the z value corresponding to each x, y point. Color values can be adjusted by changing the upper or lower limit of the color reference bar. Next, we will be creating a three-dimensional plot of our z1 and z2 functions. Before doing that, we will also create a matrix of points that follows the sync function z1. When plotting a three-dimensional trace, we only need to reference the function or matrix that we would like to plot. We can also place more than one trace in a three-dimensional plot by hitting shift plus enter after inputting the first trace. By default, each trace is black, so we'll change the colors to make them easier to see. Also, notice how if the defined function, capital Z, is lower than the first line of the plot, it will not be mapped to the plot. Instead, only a black line appears. With all our traces added to the 3D plot, we can see how MathCAD Prime provides some customization functionality. It is possible to move the 3D traces around within the plot area by rotating, moving, and zooming in. The axis max and min can be changed as well using a similar technique as done previously when setting the color reference threshold in the contour plots. Overall, we've taken a brief look at plotting in PTC's MathCAD Prime. There are many uses for plots within MathCAD and many ways to create them. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you are interested in more uses of plots and how to maximize their efficacy in MathCAD, don't hesitate to reach out to us at Tech30. Thank you. Have a great day.